The IBW means almost everything to me. It gave me a second family with the sisters and brothers that I work with and I'm members of my local. It gave me my wife, she's a journeyman's daughter, my daughter. Almost every positive aspect of my life comes from being an IBW member. It took me a couple years after high school to get in, but yeah, ultimately, you know, seeing the life that it gave to my dad, to my uncle, to my grandpa, everything we've had, everything I've had in my life is because of the IBW, and I just felt it's my turn to give back. The local meat store I'm going to go to is the place I have always go to. It's a place called Pinnons. It's on the west side of Rockford, where I'm from. How are you? Um, give me four of your um, thick chops to start with. What got me into barbecuing with my dad? I come from a little bit of a bigger family, and for holidays or birthdays or special events, he would cook in the backyard for all of us. So then as I got older, I started helping him, and then when I started having my own family, I started doing the same thing. And then it just grew into a whole nother thing when I started doing it for the brothers and sisters at work. Okay, see you guys, thanks for your patience. Yeah, thank you. Well, as a journeyman wireman, it's always what we were taught, and we taught apprentices that if the contractor or your employer gives you tools, information, and material, we will give them manpower. So that's kind of how we're approaching this barbecue. We've got plenty of tools and skills in our toolbox, and the information will come tomorrow when we get the rules. So from there, we're just gonna treat it like a work day and get it done. What's going on? Not much, just preparing some lunch. Yeah, two more days. Yeah. More days till the big competition. Barbecue time. So here today we have nine teams. We have them from multiple trades. The IBEW has two teams. And so this barbecue event is really unique. It's different. It's the first one we've ever done as an organization. It's been executed in a way that brings a family together. Not only individual families, but the family of labor. We're brotherhood, and to get the brotherhood together in a day that's fun, exciting, and enjoyable is, is unique. To be able to do this and raise money for the Torsus and Youth Conservation Center and for Union Sports Alliance is a bonus. Our group's out here that are competing. We have two groups. We have a journeyman group that's led by John Larson, and then we have an apprentice group which is led by Braden Golden, my son. He's a third-year apprentice. So this is the first inaugural competition for the Sportsman's Alliance. We go out there Friday night and we get a cooler with 40 pounds of meat and we got to come up with a lunch and a dinner option out of those 40 pounds. Let's, let's commit to the rib when we get to it because we also have a giant rack of country ribs tomorrow that me and you got to butcher. We got a, a brisket and a pork butt, and I've delegated that to um, Justin, Chuck, and Dane. And then me, Mike, and Alex are going to, we're gonna tackle the brisket here. This is a good event, and it will impact conservation and labor in a very powerful way. And that's what we're all about, uniting the union community through conservation, to preserve North America's outdoor heritage. We'll be able to do that and do it very well because of the work done here at this barbecue event. Teams, teams, come on. First place, 364. Woo! Apprentice. Yeah! W364, we won the Union Sportsman's Alliance first annual barbecue bash. We won first place, first year. I'm super excited, we're gonna have a great time. Oh, 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 oh.